the Hunt 360 podcast. I'm Ethan King, joined here by founder of Hunt 360, Jeremy Williams, and our guest today, Tony Caligari, man of wears many hats, but director of the Wild Sheep Foundation. Tony, glad to have you. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Well, Tony, it's exciting to have you here to talk to you so we can learn a little bit about the Wild Sheep Foundation and, and how they put sheep back on the mountain. And, uh, you know, we, we want to... We want to know from the from the top uh, what you see, uh, uh, where you come, where the Wild Sheep Foundation is now, and the goals as it grows. Uh, you know, we'd like just to hear hear what you have to say. Sure. Well, the, the Wild Sheep Foundation is uh, one of the nation's oldest conservation, single species conservation organizations. Um, our mission is to to keep and put more sheep on the mountain. Um, and uh, we're a we're a hunter-based organization, but primarily uh, uh, conservation first. And uh, we um, fund and and actively participate in sheep conservation projects, not only in the United States but Canada, Mexico, and Central Asia as well. Wow, I know uh, I've been a member for a long time now. Um, and, you know, I remember coming to this show long. I think it was the something else before but back then i mean it's been 20 years ago sure so yeah. uh it's uh it's exciting to watch uh the sheep foundation grow to be honest the the way that the money that's being raised at the auctions for the um i mean it's just it's just an exciting experience being here yeah the auctions are amazing when you see what some of the conservation tags bring um and a lot of times guys are buying them not just for the hunt but um for the donation for the donation and a way of giving back and uh um, you know, the, the, the uh, foundation is structured uh, with a very, very dedicated staff. It's a lean staff. They all do an amazing job with what they've got, uh, which allows us to put most of the money that's raised through those auctions and other donations straight back to conservation. Um, a lot of the state programs um, that are sheep specific are funded just through what wild sheep raises so um you know what happens at this convention is extremely important and uh, that's why you see so many of the state biologists and and uh, and and staff of those uh, game and fish departments here at the, at convention and yeah uh, they believe in you yeah, they mean, believe in they, what we're doing they, yeah. and they see that they see the results from what you're doing they they do and there's there's a lot of challenges right now with with sheep especially in north north america with uh with the domestic uh, sheep um, disease issues that that we're facing, and um, and habitat issues with uh, with um, loss of habitat, not so much um, encroachment from from developments and things that maybe other species are facing, but um, as a, as the federal government continues to pull um, refuge ground out of its original intent, we're we're losing literally hundreds of thousands of acres there so we've we've got some challenges so um the future of wild sheep is real important to all of us and if you look around this show there's there's a lot of young people which is really really important to us and you know um old guys like me have have uh, have probably seen our uh, <clears throat> our great days on the mountains um coming to an end but uh but it just thrills me to no end to see the guys like you guys that are that uh, that have your whole sheep hunting futures ahead of you, and and to, you know, a, a, um, there's a lot of bright spots, and 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 uh, it's a it's a great cause, and um, the board of directors is all volunteer, um, and uh, we love being involved with the foundation and and doing whatever we can to um, ensure the future of wild sheep. Yeah, you got any cool exciting projects coming up that you know of? Um... You know the the projects are so diverse. We signed a um, a, um, um, a a conservation agreement with uh, Mongolia today here at the show. Really, um, one of the first. Um, we've got you know hundreds of grassroots roots products with some of the projects with some of the western states going on all the time. Whether they're yeah. waterhole or enhancement or transplant programs or or uh, disease prevention programs. Um, um, you know, constantly working with uh, with Forest Service and and other federal agencies to um, to uh, curtail um, um, domestic sheep grazing in areas where they would interact with with bighorn sheep. Um, 
constantly working with the challenges that uh, Finhorn sheep, stone and dolls face and their ranges that are unique and different from what desert sheep or Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep in, in the lower parts of uh, North America might face. Um, uh, the last few years, we've been very, very active in, in Mexico um, and put together a, 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 a council with the uh, Mexican outfitters to work through some of the issues and challenges in Mexico where all the sheep hunting is on, on private land, much different than in, in the United States, uh, making great progress there. Um, seeing the, the reintroduction through, um, you know, essentially a, a very few private landowners of desert sheep uh, in Coila that's been extremely successful. I agree. Um, so we've, we've got some great things happening at the same time that we've got a lot of challenges, but that's what, all, what it's all about. If it was, if it was easy, then, you know, there'd be no reason for this organization. Two step forwards, sometimes one went back. Yeah, but as long as you can keep it. Keep two up. Two, two up, then you're doing something right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. This is one of the one of my favorite. Um, this is my favorite show. Yeah, mine and, too. And I second mine that. too. Yeah. yeah. And this is one of my favorite foundations as well. Um, I mean, I've something I've always believed in because I love I like sheep, you know. But it's more than that to me as well. I mean, I you know, it's just a it's just a great. I I, I get to see where like you say it's all volunteer. It's all you know. It, there's not it's not being wasted. No, and um, that, no. that's what excites me because you know there's a lot of people that do take advantage of situations in other you know other parts of the world, but this is one foundation I know that seems to just have this, this act together and it's a class act. Yeah, the majority of time when these conservation tags when they bring a hundred to two hundred to even three hundred thousand um, dollars, ninety five percent and and a lot of times a hundred percent of that money is going directly back to those state and provincial game and fish departments for sheep conservation projects yep and, that, and that's and, and that's so much better than going into a general fund exactly somewhere yeah exactly and, uh, and a lot of people don't think realize that it happens mm. you know, no but, um, but it's no. Uh, and uh, not, uh, you know, that's a, just a huge just a huge factor to me that that happens here yeah um, yeah. So what about you personally? What about your um, sheep hunting build career? What, do you, oh, what have you done there? You know, I grew up reading about Jack O'Connor, a, yeah. a little kid in Iowa, and never dreamed um, I would have the opportunity to sheep hunt. Uh, it always fascinated me. Um, moved to Arizona at a, um, a, a young stage in my career. My wife drew a desert sheep tag the first year we lived there, so oh. I was extremely jealous of that. But then... Um, I'm I'm embarrassed to say it. Home, she knows about it, but hopefully she'll she's forgotten. But I uh, I stole her car title and mortgaged it for a 19% loan to go on my first doll sheep hunt when I was 33 <laughs> years old. And uh, uh, the fever has uh, remained with me, even though the the hunts were only a, a couple thousand dollars now or then, yeah. you know. But um, so I've I've been blessed to. Uh, hunt sheep in North America, um, I don't know, 12 or 13 or 14 times. So um, it's still, uh, I still think I got quite a few sheep hunts left in me and, and looking forward to this coming season. So um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a, a real passion. You don't, you know, it's not so much about shooting a sheep, it's just being where they live and, oh, and being in that majestic country. And, uh, um, you know, I, I, I love to hunt elk and mule deer and antelope. And I, I've got Boone and Crockett whitetails in my backyard, and they, they, I don't really have that much interest to in them in Iowa. But, you know, I love sheep in the mountains and the places they live. And um, I like being able to, to give back with some time. And uh, also I'm, uh, I'm vice president of conservation for the Boone and Crockett Club, which is a, a volunteer position as well. And um, set on the board of the Jack O'Connor Center. Uh, so um, kind of my old, uh, my childhood hero and got me involved in, in sheep hunting and then also um, um, and involved business-wise with several hunting companies, um, Boyd Harness Company and Bob Allen, Mud River Sporting Dog Products and uh, Goki Boots and Shoes and, and um, uh, some other things. So um, really happy to be involved in the outdoor industry and uh, 
especially happy to be involved with Wild Sheep. Oh yeah, just, you spoke about the earlier generation a while ago. Um, somebody such as yourself who's hunted sheep as much as you have and has the experience and the knowledge that you have, what would your advice be to somebody who is younger, who's wanting to get into sheep hunting? What would you tell them? Sure, uh, apply for every tag that you can apply. Start building preference points in all the states that allow them. Get involved with the less than one club with wild sheep because you've got an opportunity to win uh, nine different hunts that no one else can do, you know. Um, find a mentor, uh, go on sheep hunts. When someone draws a tag, even though that you're not the hunter, you get to absorb so much just being there and the experience is, is tremendous. Um, um, and the, the fellowship and the camaraderie, you're not going to ever meet greater people than, than sheep hunters, for real. Um, and creatively um, figure out a way to finance that first hunt. Um, and it'll teach you a lot of things about just saving some money, too. So if you set goals, you can reach them. And really, if you, if you look at a sheep hunt, and I know the barriers are, are great. You know, they're challenging to get into it. But if you're, you're young and you're in shape, um, you can you can get a hunt that that uh, you know in the in the Yukon or, or Northwest Territories or or Alaska that's 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 not um, at the level of maybe a full-on stone sheep hunt in BC and if you sit down with maybe a financial advisor or someone that has some some experience doing that you can set a plan where you won't miss much of that money monthly and I'll guarantee you with the way the 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 investment markets are now in two or three or four years you'll have that money to go sheep hunting um, I've known guys that uh, detail cars on the side or maybe you know work a second job as as I have to go on a sheep hunt um, you know there's just a lot of things you can do so that's that's my advice if you've got that that goal and that passion um, and that's the biggest question I get um, from somebody interested in going sheep hunting is man, I, I want to go, but how do you afford it? And, and believe me, we were all faced with those, those issues. And you just gotta, you just gotta set that goal and figure it out. And it's like anything in life. It's a, it's just a little bit at a time. Maybe you drive your truck another year or, you know, or you uh, take your lunch to work every day instead of buying it for 10 bucks a day at the restaurant. And, and you'll, you'll get there. Believe me. Yeah. You sacrifice. Yeah. And make it happen. And there's a lot of outfitters in here too. I've done this a number of times that'll work with you on a payment plan. Book a hunt at today's price, but maybe stretch it out three or four years and pay them so much a year. Um, that works as well. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to win a uh, desert bighorn sheep. Oh, hunt. man. So <laughs> I got a good for I'm, you. You know, that's probably not the best uh, plan to plan of attack, but uh, I bought a, I bought one ticket for a hundred bucks and I, uh, I won a desert bighorn sheep hunt through the uh, Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society. Cool. Years ago. And uh, it, was and it a, proves you can do yeah, it. Yeah, it proves you can do it. Yeah. So yeah. It was a very, uh, very exciting trip, um, like I say, getting in that country and uh, seeing those desert sheep and the, the, the amount of sheep that they're yeah, good for um, you. Yeah, you know, there's lots, lots of desert sheep. I yeah, was very surprised at the amount of sheep we, yep. we got to see. Yep, probably one of the coolest hunts in North America. Um, E3 and me um, put in for doll sheep and my son as well in Alaska this year. I oh, got, cool. And I have a 13 year old son in 14C or 13D or. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. Yeah, I or toke. It would have been one it, of those. It was a toke. Okay. I just don't know yeah. sure which which yeah. community. Yeah, good is. for you guys. So, yeah. Um, you can fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> well, my my little bro, my youngest brother drew. Did he? The 14C tag this year. Yeah. Oh, wow. So and shot see. a beautiful ram. Somebody's gonna draw. So Somebody's gonna draw. Email. Yep. So we uh yep. so three of us put in. We also put in for a, a, a Kodiak goat. Oh, well, good. So, good. So we're gonna hunt. So we're gonna do something. Hopefully. Good. <laughs> good deal. I, got, I was able to get a doll sheep years and years ago as well. Um, I sacrificed, like you said, I was uh, E3's age here, um, 25 years old, I think I was. And uh, I worked all two summers for my dad's construction company, taking off his heavy equipment on the weekends, earning extra money doing 
odd in jobs with track hose and saved my money up to uh, to do a doll sheep You hunt. know the deal. Look how young you are, and you've done it. So it can be done. That's a testament. Be. Yeah. But I mean, it's you know you just gotta you gotta make a plan and, yeah. and uh, plan of attack and, and go for it. And your 13 year old will remember that his his whole life if you take him up there. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he just did his first mule deer hunt this year. He drew a youth hunt. So there's so many opportunities for youth now. Um, sure. Some of these draws. So yeah. He was able to draw a New Mexico youth tag this year when we did a mule deer hunt. And um, that was his first big, well, he shot a whitetail at home, but this was his first trip. And uh, it was uh, very rewarding. It was very emotional for me, but it was very uh, exciting for him as yeah, well. Yeah, that's uh, really cool. And that's, that's that cool. gives me the passion to help um see uh, that's the future that's what's so neat about this show is to see all yes. the you you go to a lot of hunting shows you look down the aisle and it's all guys that are you know 60 70 years old you look down these aisles and you see the future i mean i'm looking down right now and i'm seeing lots of young people which is really cool i agree i agree mm -hmm. this one this, this is a future guy right that's here. that's the future yeah that's the future the he told me the other day when we got here he was like what'd you say uh I can't remember how you worded, but he's like, I don't got the itch, and uh, <laughs> that itch really gets worse. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I my sheep hunting partner, he's got a saying: um, three days in the mountains, I can't wait to get out. Three days out, I can't wait to go back. And that's it's sheep hunting's a love hate deal. You, you you either love it or you 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 hate it. There's no in between. You know, guys go on their first hunt and never go back, or they go on their first hunt and they they do it their whole life or as long as they're physically able anyways mm. well said that was my experience i'm ready to be done with the hunt kind of and then like you said a couple yeah. days later you're ready to get back to it's it so it's a funny funny deal and i always tell people they're um you know not 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 money or anything in the world will change somebody's personality like like uh 30 pounds of sheep horns <laughs> <laughs> or a, or a 50 pound backpack yeah that's true too that's true too yeah. things change at that moment <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. what's your uh, what's your next hunt i actually have a colorado bighorn tag wow. through the through the colorado bighorn access program this year that's awesome uh, yeah i've been waiting on that for five years so um really looking forward to that yeah i can't so, wait to uh, see yeah. your results and your pictures uh, yeah yeah way, uh, well, hopefully i'll have some oh uh, yeah hopefully oh <laughs> uh, you'll have some kind of pictures yeah something and they're all good something they're all yeah good. yeah so yeah. well it was uh it was great talking to you and uh thank you guys and uh i, I know uh you want you want to say where you can find the sheep you can tell our viewers where you, they can locate the uh, wild sheep foundation website and as well uh, sure. Just if you easiest ways, just do a, a Google or a Yahoo search for Wild Sheep Foundation, and uh, it'll it'll come right up. First thing that comes right up. Got gotcha. you. All right. Well, it was great talking to you, and um, and also as well, we have uh, of course we got the Wild Sheep Foundation on our Hunt 360 platform, so all the hunters can just like the page and and get all the great notifications as they as they roll in. So. Good deal. Well. It was great talking to you, and uh, hope to uh, hope to see some pictures soon. Okay, thank you guys. All right. All right.